from Force 13 HQ. This is April 18th, 2017. Here's your Tropical Weather Bulletin. Tuesday, April 18th, just after Easter of course. Have you had a good one? Two Invest Active right now, or Invest Equivalent Systems, 91L in the Atlantic of Extra Tropical Origin, and with the remnants of Tropical Depression 2W located in the Western Pacific over the South China Sea. Really struggling, and that's pretty much gone at this point by the looks of things. So our main feature tonight is the feature in the Atlantic, 91L, 30% chance given by the National Hurricane Center. Right now, 45 mile an hour wind, winds, 988 millibars. Its position's 32 degrees north, 44.6 degrees west. There's no warnings in effect, of course. Um, this, this system could become a subtropical cyclone, uh, though if it does, it probably won't be for a very large amount of time, and it's likely to remain of extratropical nature, sweeping off towards the east or east-southeast, and then hooking off towards the north to the northwest and merging with another system and then probably moving off towards the east. So as its own system, it's probably going to have some sort of horseshoe-like curve over the next day or two or three. Uh, here's the system in the Atlantic. There you can see it on the top right hand side of your screen as night has fallen over the area. You can see it swirling around there. We'll have a better look at that in a short while. The rest of the Atlantic looking quiet. The Eastern Pacific you can see is pretty much ghostly there as well. Looks like some weather moving into California but uh, apart from that not too much going on you can just about see some convective activity towards the far south there um, that is the um, tropical thunderstorms slowly working their way further north uh, in the Western Pacific Ocean, uh, there you can see the remnants of 2W, there's very little left of it now. And where it's going exactly is unclear. The models did have it moving off towards the north, towards Taiwan, but at the moment it looks like it's just petered out as it's moved towards the west still. Here's the Australia and South Pacific region, not too far from the end of the season now in this part of the world. Uh, a few convective thunderstorms there uh, to the south of East Timor, but not too much going on. The Indian Ocean, pretty quiet as well. A few thunderstorms towards the centre there, not too far from Diego Garcia and indeed over the island. Uh, but apart from that, not too much going on. Marutha in the North Indian Ocean is long gone. Sea surface temperatures are very warm in the Eastern Pacific, warming up nicely. Um, also in the Gulf of Mexico, large parts of it are now 26 degrees Celsius or more. The Caribbean's quite hot. Uh, the open area of the Atlantic is a little bit cool, but in the um, area south of 10 north and 15 north, uh, certainly enough to sustain tropical development. The Indian Ocean's piping hot, um, and the Western Pacific there is very warm as well, uh, where 2W is around 28 Celsius. Where this storm is, um, the temperatures are in the low to mid 20s, um, so subtropical cyclone gen genesis is quite possible um, as it moves towards the west or sorry east or east southeast. There you can see the system, uh, not enough convective activity around the system really to call it a subtropical cyclone. Uh, it is spinning around nicely, but the profile is not quite there for it yet, um, and I'm not sure it will get there with the amount of time that this system has, which is not particularly very much. So showing signs of subtropical characteristics, but uh, some way to go yet. Here are the remnants of 2W, and you can see, well, the convection, or what was left of the thunderstorms, is long gone off to the west, but there you can see as day has broken there, it is actually still moving off towards uh, what we expected it would be doing, slowly, very slowly, towards the north, or maybe slightly north-northeast in those last few Look at the water vapour here, barely anything on it at all, uh, because it's really just not producing any real activity in terms of rainfall and thunderstorm activity. There you can see again uh, the RGB imagery, very tiny thing to, as well. If it was a tropical cyclone, it would be, it wouldn't even be affecting the Philippines, it'd be so small. Uh, here are the averages for 1960 to 2016. That's how many storms in 2017 we've had so far of all categories and classifications. Um, it totals out to 15 cyclones of tropical storm intensity so far this year. Uh, still lagging behind quite a bit. Um, and 31 is the benchmark set by 1900, which is where our records begin here. Um, still quite a way before we get that far, uh, but of course only 31 in that year, obviously because observations weren't so good back then. Indeed, some basins barely had any activity recorded at all. And here are the naming lists of all the storms all around the world this year to come, and uh, we'll leave you with this for a few moments.
The report on Cyclone 14P was issued today by Force 13. You can find that on our social mediums, the link's there. And also updates uh, the reports on Ernie and Cook are to be coming out shortly as well in the next few days. Look out for that. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not there already, and subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter, search Force 13, all in text for those, at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us at any time. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, F00013, and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>